Hello and welcome to the next video in this tutorial series and in this video we will focus on the cheat menu. Many people have asked how to use it and how to open it. So at first you open it with ALT plus F2. Then this window opens and you have several options. At first you can select a faction and a type, let's say land and aeon and for example tech level and you can spawn a tag one land unit if you click at it and then click create. Viola, that's a tag one land unit. You can also say how much you want to have, for example 10. Note that if you use very high numbers you will probably have a hardcore lag. And you can also change the army actually you are controlling. For example if you double click here then you gain control over the other army. Note that an AI will regain control after some seconds. So if you force the AI commander to build a factory, you will actually not do so. But for example, if you stop the factory, the AI can't do anything. And also if you are controlling the AI army, you can of course spawn units for the AI army. And there are in, on most maps there are two more armies, the civilian army and the civilian neutral army. Neutral is what it says, it's a neutral army. And civilian army is basically an AI without AI, so the units of the civilian army will attack you, but they will not move until you give them a command. And they will also not regain control over anything, so if I use this land skull to move around he will do exactly what I want to do. It's very nice if you want to try something out like what's better mantis or strikers. Um, if you want to switch back you can just double click on your name here again. And you can also save some spawn things. So if you select a land scout and a tech and an engineer and a mobile missile launcher you can save, if I can press save and then this window opens and say for example units and then every time you can select it here and create exact these units. The last thing to know is that if it's it says tag one land here but that often does not mean that everything is tag one or some tag one units even are at tag two. So this filter is not very good. For example you have the Aurora on tag two. So if you're for searching something that's not in the actual tag tree, you should just clear all filter all, all filters but faction and search it there. You have also operation, that's mainly things from the campaign. And they sometimes don't even have a mesh, so that's normally useless to spawn them. Unless you no idea want to program a map and try out some house and buildings will lock, you can spawn a black sun somehow. Not sure actually if, if it has a mesh. <laughs> yeah, and that has it been more or less. Of course you have to have cheating enabled. And it's also helpful to have the fog of war deactivated so it's clear sight. And the last thing to know is that if you're playing versus AI, want to try out things versus AI, you should put the game mode on sandbox. Because if you just want to try out like uh, if a monkey lord wins versus a commander, or something like this and spawn a experimental art or something and the experimental art actually kills the commander the game will be over and you can't try things anymore and again if you spawn buildings like 10 buildings at a time they will stand exactly on each other and that may cause any kind of bugs for example if you control K then them and they just will bug around. Also you have to spawn many shields above each other. That will cause strange problems. Let's try this out. Yeah, like this. So be careful with spawning multiple things at a time. And see you in the next video.